Hello, eighth grade scientists. My name is Miss Daniel, and I will be your eighth grade science teacher. We'll be setting the um, physical science, so things such as forces and motions this year. So really excited to be your science teacher. And I just want to get take time to navigate, show you how to navigate through Canvas. And know many of you used Canvas last year, but just as a refresher course. So I'm gonna share my screen and we're gonna go into um, our class. So you can get there by going through the dashboard or the courses um, tab on the universal uh, navigating bar. This is also where you can in, send messages in your inbox and you can use the calendar. I do wanna caution you to only use the calendar because um, you could miss some of the lessons uh, such as your like videos or articles that you need to be able to have gone through in order to do the best on your assignment. So this, I'm gonna sh um, turn, change this into what you all see, just so, cause I have more buttons than you do. So this will be what you view when you go, come into our course. And over here is now the class navigating bar. And this is here, so there are such things, the things that are gonna be most important to you are modules and grades. Um, and then the syllabus is here as well. It's in the module too, but this is the, the eighth grade physical science syllabus. Um, so when you click on this, it will show you um, kind of our class expectations, some of what our content will be, and what are some of the other procedures like grading policy, late work, and things like that, which are important for you to know as you go through this course. So when we click back on home, up on the top is the um, announcements. And here is the where the navigating canvas will be. I need to pull need to, once this video is done, then I will post the video. I unfortunately was having a little bit of internet issues today. So I'm sorry that this video is late. I normally try really hard to have them posted at early in the morning on um, Mondays. So here will is your to-do list. And this is kind of essentially the same as a calendar. It will help you to remember to remind you of things that you still need to do. As you get grades, it will show you which what what has what what assignments have been graded, and you can click on those as well. Um, I also still want to caution you to remember to go through the modules because then there'll be like videos and things to make sure that you do those as well. Uh, so here is the virtual classroom. And it kind of shows a lots of things that you will can can need. So this might be a way you can get to modules from here. So if you click on here, it goes to our modules, and it shows you um, our first week. I just realized that I haven't um, published for eighth grade the um, second the the first like a module that has all of the expectations. So I'll show you that in a second when we get there, when I'll, I'll leave student view to show that to you. So these are all the things that you need to be, you need to do for this week. So these are the two videos for you to watch and then the four activities for you to do. And this video is really important. It's actually five videos. I need to move the, it's all about the container up. So just make it more organized. And there was an issue with this one, so I had to fix it and then I didn't move it up. And then this is good. This will be important for you to, to sync your Google Drive with your Canvas class. You only need to do it once. So this is a video showing you how to do that. And then it's good for all your courses. So you might wanna spend some time. And the plagiarism video, really helps you to, to give you some pointers of how not to plagiarize somebody and to give credit for other people's ideas. Like for instance, things that you read on the internet, et cetera. So, um, because we really want academic integrity or honesty, which means we want you to do your own work and use your own words. And sometimes that's hard to do when you're reading a passage and then you know, how is it that you paraphrase it and give credit? So that's an important video for you all to watch. So I'm gonna go back home. So we've talked about announcements and also make sure that you're really 
keeping an eye on those announcements because I'll post them. They're a great way for me to share everything, information with the whole class, as well as the inbox. And that's why I wanted you to message me. So I know you know how to message in here and to check messages because lots of times uh, I will communicate with you through the inbox. So then these other tabs, will be helpful as we move forward in class. So when you click on this, it shows the key concepts and vocabulary. Right now there isn't anything, we're gonna build them as we um, go through our units of study. Then this is a place for you to ask questions about and get ideas of questions or things to think about with other students. And so right now it's just a question board. I may make it be more, um, uh, more things also. I had to sign into Google. Somehow I got signed out. So here we go. So you can click on a, po a post-it note when it and then you would just write your question there and then you could click save. So try to really hard to, to respect the things in our classroom. It's virtual. So if you move it around or you say something inappropriate, then that's not being respectful to your teacher or to other students in the class. So then um, we right here, that's the questions. And then this is the resources. It's kind of like I'll have um, one of the resources will be the questions that we wonder about then there'll be like the question with a video that might help you to think about the answer or answer the question or it could be an article. And then here is more videos and articles or resources that are going to help you with the units of study that we are learning about in, in our science class this year. So these will be resources further that will be helpful. Right now, they're obviously not built because we will build them as we go. If you have something that you have found interesting, um, like a video, then feel free to share that with me so I can share it with all of your classmates, which will be on this. That's why I said we'll build it as we go, because this is about all of us working together. This button clicks to our class expectations. Um, so go ahead and go over these really make sure that the most important thing is to make sure you complete and hand in all your assignments on time and try to do your very best on them. Be prepared when you come into office hours that you know what you need um, and you have questions and make sure you're being respectful. And really, it's really important to have a positive attitude. The, there's the Zoom expectations for Zooms. The most important thing is make sure you have your camera on. Your mic may not need, be, need to be, be muted if it's just you and I, or just a couple people, but if there's a lot of students in office hours, then it might be important to mute your mic. So they're a little bit different than a class meeting, right? Because we're just gonna be having smaller individual meetings with me as the teacher. So then uh, this stuff is really information about the syllabus. Their syllabus, obviously is important. You need to understand class expectations, what are the policies and all those. So there's tons of links for it in case you couldn't find it. Um, that's why I put it everywhere so you can find it. And then the verification form is once you and your parents have gone over the um, syllabus, I want your parents to fill this out. It also has their information. So I know their number and address. And then um, if you're having any questions regarding the syllabus, it's important for me to know. And when once they sign it by typing in their name, um, you hit submit and then I'll be able to see it in Google Forms. So that's really the weekly agenda. I think like it's like a mini pacing guide. So it will help you to go through the week. So this week it kind of just shows on Monday, hey, this is a suggestion of what you could do. And then this is, what you need to do and um, watch or learn about. And then this is the activity that you need to do. So the blue are the things that you need to be done in order to complete the assignment. So you need to learn or read or watch. And this is, or, or do an investigation, because uh, hopefully we'll get to do lots of investigations when I try to make sure that we use um, things that you can find around your house. And then this is the activity or assignment 
to show me that you have, you know, and understand what it is that you learned or um, as you were watching or reading or doing something. So that, that's obviously this week is all about you understanding what the course is about, where, how things are located in Canvas, and then um, getting to know each other, Get, me especially getting to know you. Um, so that's the agenda. It has the cl class work expectations here I would like you to look at, and then this is the link to office hours, and it has the Zoom link here. It's also on the button underneath um, the virtual classroom, which I was, is here. So this is the weekly agenda, here's a weekly agenda, but see how the Zoom link is right here too? So there's buttons down here also that show you like the modules and Zoom link and weekly agenda I've already showed you. This is the button that tells all about me and then need help so that you get to know your teacher, your science teacher. The need help is a place that you can also put questions. And I just noticed that somebody um, explained, you know, somebody just sent a message. So it's great because then I can reply to them and everybody can see this as well, right? So if you see something and you understand something or you're struggling with it too, write it down as well. This is a place where we can have a conversation about things that we're not sure of and, and, and kind of like, you know, how to do things like Canvas or Zoom or get onto Nearpods and things like that. Um, so there is um, then the Canvas tutorial that you can go over and if you're not sure about how to use Canvas. Um, and then down at the bottom is just the VLA handbook. So that's really in a nutshell, our homepage. And then I just wanna go back to the modules. I'm gonna um, click out of the leave, leave the student view so that I can show you so number one, I can show you the module that's on top of the week module. So see how these are the, all the rules and expectations here as well. And um, so notice how it wasn't published. So I'm gonna publish it now. And then um, remember you have to refresh your page once something like that happens, you refresh your page and then it will show. So I'm gonna go back to student view. I didn't refresh my page, but I did. It went anyways. I was gonna thinking I'd have to refresh my page. Normally you do. So what will happen is next week on week two, the week two will be on top of week one. So when you click on modules, you'll see week two because it's the most current thing that we're, we're working on. Um, and so here are all of the things which I kind of talked about all of these um, and, and before. I'm going to make a Flipgrid video and I'll, put it into the, it's all about the container one. So you understand how to click on it and things like that. And then the next video. So this is navigating through Canvas and the next video will be about how to message your teacher through Canvas. So I'm really looking forward to working with all of you this year. And please make sure that if you have any questions or you need anything, I'm here. I try to answer emails or, um, reminds uh, or, you know, be in, I'll be in office hours. I try to answer your um, questions as soon as possible. Also just remember that remind uh, to sign up for remind. If you, you're able to, um, I would like your parents for sure. And then um, because a student and a parent can sign up both. If you need to, it's feel free to use the inbox of Canvas. That's actually the best way for you as a student to get in touch with me is to use your inbox. So have a great day and I hope to see you soon for sure online and hopefully in office hours as well. Um, have a great week and get lots of learning done. See you soon.